Hi everybody, this is Nature Woman. I am changing my channel name to Junie on the Run. The reason I'm doing that is because some people cannot find my channel that have been emailing me and texting me. So I went ahead and I'm changing it to Junie on the Run. No, I don't run, but I do a lot of stuff. I do do a lot of exercising though, so that's I'm gonna have that on the video. So what I have here is just a pot of water and I'm just throwing my frozen vegetable uh, pieces that I've collected through the month from various meals. So in here is onion, celery, carrot, uh, whatever you have that you eat. You can throw peppers, pieces in here, whatever you have. So what it is is I filled it up with a, um, I would say about four cups of water, maybe five, and I just threw the pieces in there to make some vegetable broth. So that's what we're doing today. I have um, a sore throat, so I'm trying to make sure I don't get sick through the week. Got a lot of stuff to do. We're preparing, um, getting everything at the house ready for winter and all that stuff. So I just felt like some vegetable um, broth today and we're going to make some soup out of this for lunch. So it's just easy Sunday cooking. But this is not the main Sunday meal because we have a pot roast in this little cooker, which is cooking away. And that'll be for later on tonight. But this is gonna just be for some soup, just a quick soup. So that's what you do. That's how you make a broth. You just save whatever vegetables you're doing uh, for the month. So the end pieces of the celery that a lot of people just chuck out and throw away you can clean them really good, put them in a freezer Ziploc bag, and then you can save it to make broth. And then as you clean carrots, you peel them. You can throw the peelings in here. Make sure you clean them. The same with the onion. You don't want to get dirt in here. You want to make sure that it's all clean. But other than that, what you do is you bring it to a boil and you let it boil for about, I would say, 30 minutes. And uh, by that time, everything should be rendered out into the, to the stock and um, or to the broth and uh, what I'm going to do too since this is just now starting to come up I'm going to throw a piece of frozen chicken in there and uh, you can wait and do this later but I think it's just easier to do now um, as you're cooking because if there's any fat or anything in the chicken it's going to come to the top and you can skim it off when you skim off the vegetables from the broth and that way your chicken's cooked as well. So I just have a big frozen chicken breast. I'm gonna put that in there and that'll cook down with it. I think I'm only gonna do one chicken breast. That one's huge. Mm -hmm. Talking to my family member that's in here. So, yeah, so I think this chicken breast, that's a big enough chicken breast for the pot of soup that we're making. So I'm just gonna let that boil for about 30 minutes or so. You can let it go longer. You can do it until the chicken's totally done, which I may do. Now you see how the, uh, the water is not above the chicken? What I'm gonna do is add some water to this to make it above the chicken. I want enough water to um, cover that chicken. So yeah, so this is basically how you do that. Now you want to hold off on your seasoning until you strain that. So once this is come to a boil and my chicken is cooked and that would take anywhere from, since this is a frozen chicken breast, it would be, I would say 30, 30, to 40 minutes at least until that's done. So you just let it go. Just bring it up to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, put a lid on it, turn it down to low, and you wanna leave just like a little opening for some steam to come out. And once you do that, um, you just let it cook. But keep an eye on it so you don't boil it over or it doesn't boil dry. But yeah, that's how you would make fresh stock or chicken broth, but I'm adding chicken in there. There's no bones, so it's technically not a stock. So it's more of a broth. And then once you're done with this, what you do is you get another pot, you strain, put a strainer over top of the pot, 
and you strain the vegetables into the pot. So in the new pot, all the soup is in there. And then you will pick the chicken out and you shred it and put it in the other pot, which I'll come back and show you that. But yeah, so we're gonna make a chicken and vegetable soup today. So that's on the menu. So once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna put a lid on it and I'm gonna crack the lid. I'm gonna let it go for about 30 to 40 minutes. Um, if, if not, maybe a little longer. I want that chicken to be shreddable. But other than that, that's how you start a basic soup. Uh, that's just a base for your soup. And it's all from leftover vegetables. So if you have these, don't throw them away. Make a dinner out of it. This makes a wonderful broth and um, you get all your nutrients and everything like that. And uh, once it's cooked, then you can add your seasoning in. But right now, I'm just gonna let this cook and uh, that'll be it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and drop a comment below if you wanna know any more. Bye-bye.